Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. And this is my first guitar tutorial for the song When You Say Nothing At All by Ronan Keating. This is not his song. He covered this, but I'm gonna do his version and how I play it on guitar. First, a few things to know before we start off is I'm not a professional guitar teacher, so take that for what it's worth. But I'm gonna try my best to teach you guys some fun things on guitar. Um, also, there's gonna be some more basic stuff in other videos on my channel, like how to play some chords and other basic stuff for guitar, for beginners. Um, also, a few other things before we start. Um, on your guitar, you have some compartments called frets. That's important to know. Uh, like you have the first fret, second fret, third fret. So if I talk about certain frets, you know what I'm talking about. So, then we have the six strings here, and the lower one being the first string, the upper one being the sixth string. Alright? So, now that that's out of the way, let's start off. And also, thank you to Ellis for <laughs> providing me with this awesome sweater. Uh, if you use the code YBPLAYSMUSIC, you can get 10% off. Links are down in the description below. So, let's start off by placing our hand in the right position to start off with. First, we are placing our middle finger on the sixth, uh, on the sixth string, on the third fret. Then we have our index finger, we are placing it on the fifth string, but on the second fret. And then both my ring finger and my pinky finger are down below here on the first and second string. We're both on the third fret. All right. Then we're going to play uh, four strings here, being the sixth, the fourth, the second, and the third. Again, we have sixth, fourth, second, third. I hope you see it well enough on the supportive screen as well. Then we're going to switch positions. Um, my index finger here is on the uh, third string but on the second fret then my ring finger is on the second string but on the third fret and finally my middle finger is on the first string but on the second fret all right then we're going to play the fourth string the third the first and another time the first but I'm gonna place my pinky finger on the third fret for this one and you notice it's a little bit higher all right so again those four strings the fourth the third the first and another time the first okay then we're switching it up again we're placing our middle finger here on the fifth string but on third fret my index finger on the fourth string but on the second fret and again, both my ring and pinky finger, like before, on the lower strings here, the first and the second string on the third fret. And I'm gonna play the fifth string, the third, the second, and again the third. Again, so the fifth, the third, the second, the third. And we're going to turn back to the uh, previous position. And we're playing the fourth, the third, the second now, and now the first, but while I play the first, I'm going to hammer down my pinky on the third fret. The harder you do this, the more sound you get. Um, but I'm not playing the string again. So I'm playing the first one there, but I hammer down my pinky on there for the last note. So again, for the last position, we have the fourth, third, second, first, and hammer down. All right. So if we stick all that together, we get this slowly. So we have here, which is called the G chord, the sixth, the fourth, second, third, switch it up, fourth, third, first first but with the pinky we switch it up again to the third position we have the fifth the third the second again the third and switch back to the last position then we have fourth third 
second, first, hammer down. All right? So, we're gonna pick it up a little bit and uh, raise the speed. We have five, six, seven, eight, and... Okay? Normally we repeat this another time and then we have the whole intro. So, let's speed it up a little more so we have the normal tempo here. Five, six, seven, eight, and... Okay, the last chord was not included in the song itself, but... So, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions or recommendations, uh, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd appreciate it, and uh, I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye.